That guy is Sandy Alcantara getting ready for start number two. I, I saw him today in the in the clubhouse, and he was focused. He was ready to go. It was really fun to just look at the way and his demeanor and, and his mindset coming in. You know that he wants to come out today, and he wants to have himself a really good game, and I think that's exactly what he's going to do. He has something to prove after his first start. Let's see how Gordon approaches this first at bat, if he's aggressive early, if he tries to get himself a first pitch fastball. First pitch, tapped up the right side right to Cooper one pitch one out and it'll quickly get us to Carlos Correa well Correa has been around a while Sandy's been around for a few years but these two haven't seen each other kind of a theme for Sandy and twins hitters not a lot of familiarity as this one is lifted out to right field for Avi Garcia two up and two down just like on most nights when we watch Sandy we see the opposing teams swinging early and often and the reason for that is you cannot allow uh, Sandy Alcantara to get ahead of you not with the lethal stuff that he features whether it be that disappearing slider that fading change up there's the right fielder Trevor Larnick 3 2 pitch to Larnick is swung on and missed strike three pulled the string on him and Larnick went chasing for a change up the first strike out of the ball game Kenta Maeda making his first start on a major league mound since August the 21st of 2021 21 years ago and a lot of work to get back to this point. Luis Arise will lead things off again for the Marlins at the ball hard three times. And the three two pitch a fly ball center field playable. Michael A. Taylor drifting back routine to his right and will squeeze it and Arise flies out one away no score and now Jorge Soler and now the pitch he struck him out swinging with a breaking ball and Soler is out number two strikeout number one for Kenton. It's a two away and that'll bring up Garrett Cooper shift ground ball hit right to Gordon and it's a one two three first inning for Kenta Maeda and Jazz now off to a three for 18 start he was one for four last night and so with nobody on and one out here in the bottom of the second inning see if Avi Garcia can get a little something going well Avi Garcia just had another uh, clock violation I guess if you're Avi, I guess you just got to tell yourself, uh, you know, do not get out of the batter's box. Just stay in the batter's box. After his violation, he swings and hits a high towering drive deep to left field. Pitch clock violation doesn't matter. Garcia goes deep. It's one nothing Miami. When you throw as many sliders and split pink fingered pitches as Maeda does, you're bound to hang one or two of those. And that's exactly what he did there to Garcia. And Garcia made him pay. Segura bangs a two out base knock into center field. So here's Jacob Stallings with a run home here in the second inning. The payoff pitch, check swing. He went around strike three and a breaking ball. Maeda strikes out three, but the Marlins get one and the homer from Garcia. We'll see if the Twins can have better at bats, more success. Second time through against Alcantara. 2 1 pitches. Yanked the first. Diving to his left is Cooper. He's got it and he dives and hits the bag at first. I mean, come on now. Go Garrett Cooper has uh, flashed a gold glove going back to opening day. Well, that was drilled down the right field line on the ground, and I thought this was extra bases, and Cooper just laid out to his left and then dove to touch the bag with his glove. How about that? Garcia makes the catch, and there's quickly two outs. And for what it's worth, I know it's only the fourth inning, but that's 11 up and 11 down for Sandy Alcantara. Little number to the third baseman, Segura on the run, has to hurry, comes up, throws not in time. Boy, Segura at third base, wasn't hit hard. And he came in and fielded it. And then for some reason just took a couple extra crow hops and then realized, I got to go. To give up the first hit, a little infield base hit, take it. Need a base runner trailing one nothing. Here's a shot into right field, right at Avi Garcia who makes a little bunny hop and makes the catch, and the inning is over. We need to go do a game down there at Sandy's Beach. Well, we won't be able to hear anything. That's, that's the only issue. We've got to concentrate, you know? We, we can make it up. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Another strikeout, number eight for Maeda. Two away in the fifth. This is a great, great start for Maeda to begin his season. How about that? Nine strikeouts over five innings, but the Marlins have a one-nothing lead. Maeda with nine strikeouts. He, he's punched out the last four. John Birdie leads off the bottom of the sixth. That's to left. Off the end of the bat, and it drops in front of Castro for a leadoff single. Trainer out to see Kenta Maeda on that pitch there. And he's kind of shaking out that right arm a little bit. So not good right here. As Kenta Maeda 
talking with his interpreter, and they're going to pat him on the back and hand the ball off, and he's going to depart this ball game. Not good. And just watching him walk off, he's kind of rubbing that right forearm. Birdie will move up 90 feet, and now the Marlins have runners at the corners with one out here at the bottom of the sixth. Now here's where they really need to go to work. Runner on third, less than two outs. They have to get this run home. Double play depth up the middle. Garrett Cooper is batting. Marlins have rolled into eight already this season. Ground ball to shortstop. Correa to second for one. On to first, a double play. And the Minnesota Twins get out of this inning unscathed here at the bottom of the sixth. Alcantara has been fantastic on this Tuesday night here at Lone Depot Park in what is his second start of the season. Willie Castro leads off the eighth. 1-1 pitch to Castro. Swung on, hit in the air. Playable for De La Cruz, who backs up, moves to his right, and puts the squeeze on out number one here in the eighth. Sandy Alcantara had more complete games than any other team in Major League Baseball last season. He had six all by himself last season. And he may very well be on the verge of completing his first complete game in just his second start here in 2023 tonight. One, two pitches, swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a slider. When you're throwing 97 and 98 mile an hour and all of a sudden you drop a change up at 92, sometimes that slider doesn't have to be nasty. Here's Michael A. Taylor who has one of the two Minnesota Twins hits tonight. Bouncer right back behind the second base bag. Arise has it, and Sandy is through eight scoreless. The Psy is back on track. The Marlins lead 1-0 here in the top of the ninth inning, and Alcantara is still out there. He's been outstanding. He's only allowed three base runners, two base hits and a walk. Nick Gordon batting for himself. Bounce to third. Backhanded by Segura. Strong throw for the first out. Talking to uh, Mel Stoudemire Jr., are you going to back up, back off Sandy this year? Will you pick your spots? And he said, no, Sandy will not have any of that. Sandy does not feel like he's done his job if he doesn't pitch seven and eight innings. So Correa with a base hit. And now the go-ahead run bats. And Trevor Larnick, who has reached twice tonight, a single walk and a strikeout. A ground ball could put a seal on this puppy. Ground ball up the middle. Birdie's got it. Steps on the bag. Throws to first. A double play. It's a Marlins win and the first complete game of the year for last year's Cy Young Award winner. On pitch number 100, Sandy was brilliant tonight against a team that had not lost a game all year long, the Minnesota Twins, and were playing with a tremendous amount of confidence. He did what aces do.